Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. I'm actually starting this vlog on a Wednesday um, because I wanna to vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna to be really fun. I am getting my hair done, colored, for the first time in a year. Look at how grown out my color is, it's here now. Um, and we are having the coziest, rainiest day today. It's raining. It literally has not rained since March, since I had jury duty. Um, so it's been a long time and rain affects me so much. I'm like, I can't, I can't function. I was gonna film a video today, but I was like, it's too dark and my brain is not functioning enough to film like a whole video. So we're vlogging, doing a lot of computer work. My main goal today is to do laundry and catch up on all the admin computer stuff. A lot of bookkeeping, which I hate doing, but I know it's so important. So I wanted to say, hey, hi, hello. Let's do laundry here in a second and and it's just a it's just a cozy day. I'm glad you're here. I am in the garage to start doing laundry, but here's a fun little quick update. I don't know if you remember, there was a huge shelf that went along right here. Brooke took it down. We've started cleaning out the garage. I moved in all of our furniture because of the rain, but he's gonna turn this into a workout room. So I'll document that as it goes along. Um, yeah, we're figuring out what to do with a lot of the storage stuff. We might get a little shed to keep like the lawnmower and stuff so he has room for equipment. But let's do some laundry. There goes the mail truck that I was just about to talk about. Did you hear that engine? I procrastinated doing laundry for 10 minutes and while I was sitting on the couch, I heard the mail guy come. And I'm just so excited about this. He brought my True Earth order. I ordered this the other day. True Earth is sponsoring this vlog. You guys know how much I have loved them. And I was really excited to see that they came out with a big box, look at this, ready? Of their laundry detergent slips. This is over a year supply. Half of the sheet is a load of laundry. And look how many sheets are in here, times two. It's crazy. I'll explain what they are if you haven't heard me talk about them, but True Earth is what I use for my laundry. They also have some really cool sustainable home goods like cleaning products and such. They are laundry detergent strips. So you know when you buy laundry detergent at the store, it is like detergent plus water in a big plastic container. Well, water is already at your house. So they had the brilliant idea of making these little strips that you throw into your laundry and it, <laughs> washes the clothes with the water in your washing machine already. This is amazing for a few reasons. First off, carbon emissions. If you think about the logistics of shipping a big heavy plastic container versus, you know, normally, let me find, oh, here. This is the size of 32 loads. So traditionally one large plastic container of a laundry detergent versus this, this is gonna take way less carbon emissions to ship. And then also it's in cardboard, containers, so completely recyclable. I have code Mikel10, which will get you 10% off of your order. I will have all of their information linked down below and I'll show you how it works. So I have my clothes and my washing machine and all you do is take this one little strip like this, toss it in, close it and you're good to go. And they are available in 55 different countries. So chances are they will ship to you where you're located. So thank you again to True Earth for sponsoring this video. Checking this off my to-do list. Heck yeah. I have one other thing I wanna show you inside that I'm really excited about. So I just got in an order from a little Etsy shop. I'm gonna set you here. So these paintings up here, it's the very first thing you see when you walk through the door. It's literally like, boom, wall when you walk through. And I just like, didn't like the way they made me feel. I don't know if that is a valid reason, but they just didn't make me feel great. So I was like, I'm gonna get an actual, well, this is technically a print, but it's of a painting on like very nice quality paper framed from an Etsy shop. So I found this, oh, and I love it so much. Sorry for the glare, but when you look up really close, you can see like, from, from afar, it looks like a photograph. When you look really close, you can tell it's a painting, though it's not the original. And I'm just so excited about the vibes. It has a little more like, warm, welcoming, cozy, vintage vibes as opposed to just a poster and a frame. So I need to hang it, but I wanted to share with you because I think it's gonna be a good first impression. I'll link the Etsy shop down below. Old Fangled print shop, printed, framed, and packaged with love in the USA. It was a bit of a splurge, but I'm excited about it. 
warm up our den a little. Tomorrow's gonna be the main day of the vlog, but tonight, Brooke has actually started softball again. Um, this is his third game since 2019, um, and that used to be his thing. He literally would play like four to five nights a week when we were dating. Wow, it looks way cozier on camera in here right now than uh, what it actually looks like because it's so like dark and <laughs> cool toned in here in real life, you know? <laughs> Well, plot twist, it is Friday morning now. I ended up having a stomach ache yesterday and kind of taking the day off, but I've been drinking a lot of Gatorade and um, I actually am craving coffee today, which I feel like that's when you know your stomach is feeling better when you actually want coffee. For some reason, coffee craving is like the line test, you know? You're like, if I want coffee, I'm feeling better. And when you feel bad, coffee sounds terrible. So Sweet Brooke actually went to go pick us up some Starbucks and I'm gonna enjoy it out here, but I'm still gonna lay kind of low, just rest up. And I thought it'd be fun to organize some things around the house today and slash or tomorrow, um, depending on how I'm feeling. But my makeup needs a lot of organizing and my closet needs some organizing. And I know that those are always very satisfying. So figured we could do that together. I got my coffee. So sweet of Brooke. And I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, because Wednesday feels so long ago. Um, but I know I mentioned that Brooke is starting to clear out the garage because he's going to turn it into a workout room. He ordered like a long bench. I don't even know what everything's called and like the bar and all the weights and stuff. And he's looking into rubber flooring. But one thing that we're thinking about doing, like the lawnmower takes up a lot of space and all the shovels and rakes and those types of things. We're thinking about getting a little shed and putting it on the back side of this garage. Um, it'd only be like four feet deep and like six feet wide because we, first we were looking into cabinets for the garage to like close everything in and one cabinet we would need multiple is the same price as a shed so we're thinking about doing that and like hiding it back here and then it's easy access for all the yard stuff and we don't have to see it so then the garage can just be workout and laundry which would be really really nice also we did just go ahead and um, sign another six months of our lease so that's exciting our six months were up and now we're gonna sign another six. We honestly plan on being here until we buy something, which would probably be in a long time because if we buy something in California, we'd want to be able to have enough space to work at home and have kids. So we need at least four bedrooms. So that'd be at least 1.2 million. So that'll be in a while, no rush. <laughs> which is also why we're not in a rush to have kids. <laughs> I got ready and I vacuumed the house and I'm feeling good. This is the first area I want to organize. I honestly think that almost all of this makeup is expired. I'll show you why. It's because everything I use on the daily is in this top drawer and I really don't use anything in the drawers below. So let me figure out the best place to put you as we go through all of this. I did just buy this. This is a backup for when my skin tint runs out. But the rest of the stuff, I really think it's almost all gone bad. Which is so sad, so sad. Okay, here we are, hopefully you can see it. So these are some fake lashes by a brand called Lithe that I still need to try. I'm gonna obviously save those. And a couple of these things up front are newer. This Pixie Glow Mist is newer, but this Tarte Shape Tape is definitely older, as is, sadly, this Ilia True Skin Foundation. I just didn't really like, and I've had this for probably way too long. I got this in Korea, so that's been a long time. Some old sunscreens, cannot even tell you how long those have been in the very back. This is from a very old cause box as well. Wow, I should have gone through this a long time ago. Oh, do you love this moisturizer from Curology? Can't tell you how old that is because I used to get them every month or two, but I'll hold on to it. Ooh, okay, this is actually new. This is a uh, like toner. These Coco Kine sticks are pretty old. I love Coco Kine, but I didn't really like see a use for these, if that makes sense. One thing that I'm noticing is I get a lot of lip products, like a lot of lip products, and I don't like to wear lip products, so I don't use many of these. These are actually newer, so I'm gonna hold on to them. <laughs> this is what I do, I'm like, I'm gonna hold on to them, and then I hold on to them until I don't use them anymore. But these are a few from Ilia. Actually, these are all from Ilia, and they're really good. I say let's cue a uh, time-lapse, a montage 
of me getting rid of as many things that are empty or expired as possible and see the before and after. Ready, set, go. So all of these were either expired or empty. So that's what I am getting rid of. And then I'll walk you through this drawer. So this is cheek and lip product. So all of the different cream blushes that I use often, that's my favorite. And the couple lip products I use, which is basically all glossierbalm.com and this one Merit lip product. Oh, and highlighter, highlighters in there as well. This is all like skin, so SPF, different foundations, different concealers, one more. I typically every day, this is so beat up, mix this Glossier Skin Tint with the Too Faced Born This Way, like 50-50. And then this is powders, I guess, the best way to explain it, besides setting spray. Um, but these are all powders. We have setting, setting, bronzer, bronzer, and then a couple highlighter, blush, little Lila Bees. These are mini eyeshadow palettes. This is the eyeshadow palette I use almost every day. I think I got this at Nordstrom's Rack and I think I've bought it multiple times. I basically use these top four colors, not the bottom ones, almost every single day. <laughs> Eye products. So we have brow gels, mascaras, and this is a clear brow gel. And then even one cream gloss that I use occasionally. And then, so that's what I use every day. And then going down to these drawers, they're mostly just more empty now. Oh, actually, this is one of my other favorite highlighters, but I've just been using the Merit one more often. So this one got booted down to the second tier drawer, but I have some cloud paints, some lip glosses. This is all extras. So when I run out of my skin tint, my probiotics, face mist, these are things that have not gone bad. I still don't use very often, like all those lip products. <laughs> and then some Bare Minerals. These haven't gone bad, so I'm holding on to them. And then this is like my bulk drawer. I also have all of my makeup bags on top. So for example, makeup bag, makeup bag for travel. And then this is a brush pouch, but underneath are makeup brushes, extras like beauty blenders and lashes and such, and then big palettes came in here to start on the closet, but then I remembered something I hadn't told y'all that I'm really excited about. So if you've noticed in previous vlogs, especially whenever I do anything with the dresser, it is so broken. I got it before we moved to the last apartment on offer up for a hundred bucks. Someone basically repainted like one that they found on the side of the road and then flipped it for a hundred bucks on offer up. So that's what our dresser is. And none of the drawers are on their track. So you pull open a drawer and you have to hold it or else it'll fall. And then our bed, um, the slats are broken. <laughs> so occasionally you'll just sit on the bed and you'll hear slats fall to the ground. And if you don't go under and like fix them, then you roll to the center of the bed whenever you sit on it. <laughs> we knew we needed to probably buy non-broken furniture, but furniture is just so expensive. And we were just procrastinating it as long as possible. Resigning the lease for another six months was when we were like, okay, let's, you know, invest in not broken furniture and start the workout room and things like that. So. We officially ordered it and it's not gonna be here for a month, but we went with Living Spaces because they will build everything and take away all the trash for $100 per order, not per piece of furniture. So I was like, okay, if we buy two things at once and they build it all and take away all the trash, that would be really nice. So we placed that order. I will put a little screenshot of, this is the bed we got. It looks almost identical to our bed. Um, it was just the cheapest bed, honestly, <laughs> that they had that like still fit in our, our aesthetic, but this is the dresser we got. The dresser was a little bit of a splurge. It's Magnolia Homes, you know, Chip and Jojo won't lead us astray. Um, and I think it'll be nice to have some like warm wood tones in here because this bedroom is very cool tone with the white walls, the white sheets, everything's just very cool tone. So I'm excited to have like a nice warm wood tone in here. I think it's gonna be really pretty. But let me show you what I'm kind of thinking about doing to the closet. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if it works. So here's what my closet looks like now. This is my half. My half really extends back here into Brooke's half a little bit, but I mean, that's what happens when you share a closet with your spouse, right? So I have jackets 
And these are like jumpsuits, turns into dresses, turns into skirts. And then back here, it's in season shirts. I have all of my winter shirts in like a airtight container in the garage. But at the end back here is jeans. And what I was thinking is I bought like a hanging shelf because these jeans folded would only take up like two out of six shelves. Then I would have room to do like maybe you know, these are some um, sweatshirts or maybe even some leggings that I have in my dresser. I don't know, just be able to like store more and see it more easily. I think that the shelf I got will be about the width of these jeans. And I have a shoe rack down here that stops right here. So I'm hoping that the shelving can go all the way down to the ground. We'll see, we'll see. Let me unbox it real quick. I actually got this a long time ago, like over a month ago and just been procrastinating this. Oh yeah, I think that that'll be a perfect size. I can even do like denim shorts. This will be great. Um, let me take down the jeans and let's get started. My jeans are in like the least convenient corner to film in. We'll see what we can do. Put a pen on my desk Not too bad. A little more shell. Oh, wait, there's side pockets. <gasps> Do you see that? Um, it's smaller than I expected from online, but it's also a great width for the amount of space I have left here, so that's great. I'm gonna start folding and putting some jeans here, and then we'll see how much space we have left for probably shorts. I'd love to get shorts out of that dresser because it's hard to get to. <laughs> it might be helpful for me to kind of separate by brand. I know I have quite a few Everlane quite a few Abercrombie. So I'm gonna start by doing that. So like here's an Abercrombie. Oh yeah, I feel like only three, maybe four pairs can fit on each shelf. Look, it's in alphabetical order. A, and then E. Let's find all the Everlane ones. Yep, these are one of my favorite, the curvy cheeky straight jean. These look like they kind of need to be washed. But these are the Arc Jean, another one of my favorites. I'm gonna do my favorites here that I wear often, so that way it's easy to know which one's which. I like this one a lot too. This is the 90s cheeky jean. And then these I like, but not as much as the other ones. This is the Way High Jean. This is another Way High Jean. And last but not least, Oh, I guess I have the way hygiene in three washes. Clearly don't wear these as often. Maybe I should pare down on them. I'm actually going to be trying some of their new denim in a video very soon too. So I'll need to pare down on what I have. The jeans that took up this amount of space now only take up three out of the six shelves. So I have essentially doubled the storage space in these 12 inches. That math adds up, right? So I'm definitely gonna bring over some denim shorts, do denim shorts here then the world's our oyster. We can expand however we feel fit. What did you expect? I'm a coward at my best. Nothing was said, but it's done. And then I think for now on the bottom shelf, or maybe both of them, yeah, this might fit to two. I'm gonna do a couple sweat sets I have, just two that I wear often. One is from Aloe Yoga, and then this one is the really soft Make Weekends Longer line from Madewell that I got in my last birthday vlog. Gonna do one set here and one set here. Wow, wait, let me show you a close up. Okay, so this is how it breaks down. Abercrombie jeans, favorite Everlane jeans, Second favorite Everlane jeans, shorts, sweat set, sweat set. And previously it was just these nine pairs of jeans and this, and now I have all of this. I feel like that was a very good addition. Also, my dad, when he was in town, added these second shelves up here, which has been really, really nice. So up there I have things I don't use as often. And then down here I have things I use more often and same on Brooke's side. Thanks for hanging with me as I organize and declutter a few things. It always feels good to do that and I'm sorry that this vlog is kind of short and very very chill at home. Definitely was not planning on getting a little stomach bug but I'm determined to stay on schedule with putting out vlogs and hanging out with you guys and 
many more things to come that I actually need to power through and film today. So, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, but I wanted to say thanks again to True Earth for sponsoring this little video. Had all the clean clothes to organize, which is very nice. Um, don't forget I have code Mikkel10 for 10% off your purchase. Highly recommend testing out the laundry strips, especially fresh linen. Smells so good. I can't even put it into words. This is the thing about YouTube videos is I wish you could smell. You can do a lot of things. You can see, you can hear. I guess that's it actually. You can't taste, smell, or touch. Okay, yeah, two out of the five senses. I wish you could smell. <laughs> oh, I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?